is up guys hope you're having a blessed day so it's been a long time since we've been able to make a video way too long and uh, I'll explain that all to you guys a lot of you guys have been messaging me on Instagram and the YouTube you guys are wondering where the contents at what's up with the truck uh, kind of how far along we are on the build and if I've got the motor in and so I'm gonna explain all that but thank you guys it shows me that you guys care that uh, we're doing good you guys want to know where we're at the build and that's exciting for me and uh, it's been too long way too long I can check on my videos and see how long it took to get the motor back so looking back at my videos looks like I dropped the motor off at Boyd seven months ago closer to eight and then I've had it back now for a little over two months and I dropped my 243 heads off uh, two weeks after I dropped the motor off so those have been out for longer than the motor was out so that's really all we're waiting for and you know it's really starting to take its toll on me I'm so excited like uh, I don't know I think is I think the guy's name on Instagram is LSX Dario or something like that he sent me a video it has the same exact cam as me and it sounds so good way better than my old 216 220 from comp so it's gonna sound killer but man it's taking so long and uh, I'm still waiting on the heads like that's all I'm waiting on and so I really there's nothing for me to do and I just started kind of creating stuff for me to do so I'll show you guys I'm kind of cleaning up the frame uh, I have a primer on it right now and I'm gonna get it painted just a satin black I've got a lot of it cleaned up and basically all the front frame up here is clean don't have that clean yet and a lot of it down through there is clean the job I was waiting tables at shut down so I don't have that anymore just uh, landscaping over the summer and then YouTube videos so I'm trying to find a new job but in the meantime I have quite a bit that I can get done to it uh, frame wise I'll probably have that knocked out in a couple more hours but just waiting on the heads man it's killing me it's taking so long getting the heads back a lot of you guys are probably like why don't you just go get the heads and uh, take them someone else which you know, there's a couple guys that I've uh, gotten contact with that I can take them to, but you know, Craig's done so much for me, like loaning me anything I asked for. If you guys remember, I think it's my second video, loaned me a torque wrench and snap on torque wrench, just anything I asked for. Like, like he loaned me the little things to get the fuel rails off the uh, intake manifold, just anything. So like, I really don't want to, you know, stop uh, doing business with Craig, you know. His tuning has always been spot on, especially with my old 5.3 setup. Spot on, fixed the idle, everything. Everything's smooth. Shifting was firm, and he put in a Corvette servo for me. So, like, I don't, I, I just don't want to do that, especially because he'll probably want money for what he's done so far, and then I'll have to pay someone else uh, even more money to finish. So, I talked to him again, so I'm wanting him back this weekend. So, if I don't get him back, then we're probably going to look to do something else. But I really, I just don't want to do that, you know, to someone who's who's helped me a lot. And uh, he works a full-time job at a Chevrolet dealership as a technician. But still, if you just got too much on your plate, just let me know, you know. And that's the thing. It's not it's not that big of a deal, you know. Just tell someone so they so they know. But so kind of that's where we're at. Here's the pony. Check out the tires. It's still been doing really good. Continentals, Julie likes them, they hook, they're a lot quieter too. So now if we want to go long distances in the Mustang we can again, which is nice. Here's the beast. The six liter. It's just sleeping, but I think I told you guys last video that I oiled down the cylinder walls, so we're all good. I put a lot of oil on there. And then everything else is just waiting. Patiently waiting like me. One last look at this. I'm not really going to show a whole lot of this because this is a lot of cleanup and it's really, it's kind of a lot of dirty work. Not a whole lot of fun to show, but I'm going to get this all cleaned up and I'll be sure to show you guys that once it's finished. It's going to look real good and kind of just the, the coating that was on there was kind of just flaking off. So I was like, I better get something on there to protect it in the long run. I don't know if you guys can see any underneath, but pretty cleaned up. Still have a little bit of work to do. But there is one more thing I'm going to do before I get the heads back. And I don't know if you guys watch John Veasley, but I've done a collab with him. He's a pretty good guy and uh, had a lot of fun down in Port Aransas. But he did a header wrap, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. I think it was DEI. 
I'm gonna wrap my headers. These are Texas Speed uh, one and three quarter headers, and so I'm gonna get them wrapped, and uh, that way, when we get the motor back in, we can just slide these in, and uh, keep some heat out of the engine bay. So that'll be pretty nice. So I'm probably gonna do a video on that. Then after that, that's really it. Unless you guys, do you guys really think I should replace anything else? Like, I don't know, uh, the mounts or the actual motor mounts that bolt to the motor. I don't know where they're at right now. Let me find them real quick. Here they are. But if you guys think I should replace them, there's a couple other things that I probably should get replaced uh, while everything is out. But guys, that's basically it. There's only a few other things that I need to order. Head gaskets, bolts, and then fuel injectors. I'm going to get some bigger injectors. Go ahead and try to get some that I can run with a turbo. So that's pretty pricey, but you guys you know, you guys have come in clutch with the channel views lately. So I got to get going, get some more videos posted for you guys. So the Mustang is going to get an exhaust, probably order it in a week or two. I'm going to go with the MBRP uh, axle back muffler delete. But going to get that ordered, and that should sound pretty good. And we'll kind of build this while we're waiting, just a light build, and then... Once we get the truck all wrapped up, I want to get the transmission done, 4080 e swap. I even want to put gears in the rear end. I want to do a cow hood and uh, just a little, probably, I don't know, inch or two inch. I haven't really looked into them too much, but I really want one. And then we'll really go hard on the Mustang. I don't completely want to ruin, like, its drivability. Like, the truck is probably after this, I don't know, the truck should drive pretty good, but I just don't want to take it too far, you know. You want to keep something that runs good. I still, I bought a new commuter, a Cobalt, so it runs good. I'm never going to touch it. But the Mustang, I don't want to go uh, too overboard with. But guys, that's basically it for this video. So the next thing you might see, hopefully, is me getting the heads back. And uh, we'll get going on that. Or if not, I guess we'll do the exhaust video, which is going to be pretty good. Uh, she loves it. Julie's going to like it. I think she will. But got to go wake her up. She's napping. It's a Sunday. We came over here to work out. And then we're going to head back to our house. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below. Have a blessed day. Got to tell her goodbye, guys. Heading out with Julie and the Mustang.